conception started back in February when um, Dominic Peckham was invited to come to Hillcrest to, to do a big sing for the 50th anniversary of the school. And at the end of it, um, him and Chris Reader hatched a plot, a plot of saying, why don't we set up a national youth choir of um, Kenya? Oh, I thought this sounds like a really good idea, but let's change it a wee bit. Um, because there's so much singing and there's so much creativity already going on in Kenya, let's get Dominic to come and sort of facilitate what's already here and, and put it on the stage. So we changed the name a little bit. We called it the Kuimba Pamoja Project, just to get it going, the idea of singing together. Take your pocket and, and then breathe out. Hillcrest share my vision. They understand how powerful singing can be. And working here in the school for, for now my second visit, um, we've seen what it can do for the young people in this school. And the leaders of Hillcrest and all the teachers here um, have been so supportive of me and They've said yes, which not many people do nowadays, and they are very much a partner in developing this choir, and I think it'll serve as a real legacy for Hillcrest. Um, we're still celebrating 50 years, and so what a wonderful way then to create a choir for the country. The idea was to get kids, youth from across all different social backgrounds. So today we had kids from international schools, from government private schools, from 844, from, from a children's home, all coming together. Um, to sing and make music, and that I think is the really strong vision. That it's a it's 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 a social project as well. For me, my, my first impression was who, who would I select from, we have 130 children, and so trying to find who were the children who would want to be involved in this and would really benefit from this and, um, you know, just trying, going and asking them, did they want to be a part of it, because it was a choice. It wasn't, we just, we just didn't, you know, we, some children said no, they weren't interested, they couldn't sing. You know, they didn't want to be involved and other children readily accepted and wanted, you know, wanted to get involved in the, in the program. And from what I've seen today, those who came, you know, have fully participated and have really, I've just seen in a, in a matter of hours, the confidence that they build up in themselves. From the girl who stood on the stage and was too frightened to the fact that how many children came out and sang solos that probably have never done that in their lives. But he's, he talked about the respect and the confidence and, and I think the support that we're, we can receive from one another through singing together, you know, a singing community. I mean, it's amazing how children just get along without uh, hiccups and, you know, hang, hang ups about who's next to them and stuff like that. He doesn't make us follow him, he makes us lead with him. Yeah, it's so cool. And, and like, he knows how to engage us and yeah. he has control have fun while he's still teaching us as well. So it's really interesting to be with him. He makes us laugh as well, so we enjoy. He knows how to make people sound exactly like how he wants them to sound and it sounds really good. I'm very excited about the way they learn. They, they listen. More than anything else, they listen, and that is all I need. That's all anyone needs, is to have young people listening and, and wanting to, to, um, to improve. I think he's just raised the bar. He's inspired us. He's inspired the kids. His um, vision is very much to um, do professional development within music teachers in Kenya, so that professionals come from different parts of the world. They can come and train us. Um, share best practice, share how to do things, so that it's not just Dominic coming, it's Dominic coming and teaching us how to do it, and then we do it. By hearing them sing, 
they're sounding amazing and they are more enthusiastic. There's no that kind of enthusiasm that is not developing in them. And the comments that they had on the vocal music is, is showing to change. And really, I'm happy about that. Music is a universal language and uh, people preach through music. And actually they say, he who sings prays twice. So we're not just saying a prayer to God, when we're singing a prayer, it even has greater impact in our lives, in our, in our hearts. Yeah, we're, we're like so comfortable with each other yeah. and then now we can be able to bring out like what we truly feel and exactly. how we truly understand like music and stuff. So it's like really awesome. Really awesome. Yeah, yeah, so much fun. Perfect. Without singing, our lives would be nothing and we want to thank you for emphasizing on it, right? Yeah. 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 And now Hillcrest itself has agreed to take the project further. We are going to meet twice a year, two residential courses, um, but they're going to come together on a residential course, so they're going to eat and live and breathe and sleep um, singing. And uh, by the end of those five, six days, they'll perform across Kenya. We hope that um, the first course will be in, in Nairobi and then maybe Mombasa and move around. And then who knows, as soon as possible, we take this choir abroad and, and, and show the world what Kenya has to offer. Oh.